Hey there, roofing contractor subscribers. I'm Dr. Gensini, certified consulting meteorologist and PhD from the University of Georgia. And I'm here because I love educating contractors about what storms are coming their way. Enjoy this week's video. Hey everyone, Monday, July 19th, Dr. Gensini here for Extreme Weather Insights in our weekly forecast video blog. It is Monday morning, so I did want to show you the radar here currently. We do have a threat of uh, some severe weather, perhaps in the form of damaging wind across the Gulf Coast states today. And I think a little bit of severe weather may materialize in northern Minnesota today. You can barely see a little cluster of thunderstorms there right by the U.S.-Canada border. That little cluster today will sort of move and, and drop south and east, and I think will produce a little bit of hail and maybe some damaging winds in far, far northern Minnesota by the Boundary Waters. So uh, if you're in either of those areas, be on the lookout for thunderstorms today. Otherwise, big high pressure area set in place and we have lots of wildfires burning out in the west uh, underneath. Temperatures uh, again approaching near 100 degrees out there, sort of another mini heat wave expected. You can see it here on the synoptic chart. Look at the big area of high pressure. And again, that's influencing a big area of the country. The only jet stream you have to create a lot of severe weather is this little guy, a uh, little pocket up here in the Pacific Northwest. That will move east throughout the week and eventually will begin to dive south into the Midwest to create us some severe weather, especially as we go into later week into the weekend. A couple of opportunities here to highlight, of course, the stuff today that I just mentioned Tuesday. I think we'll have some thunderstorms develop along a cold front west of Milwaukee. This will be southeast of the Twin Cities. They may move into the Chicago area. I don't think they'll be producing hail then. But both of these areas look kind of ripe for damaging wind on Tuesday, so we'll pay close attention to that. Threat completely shifts way back up along the Rockies in, in uh, Montana on Wednesday. Of course, fairly unpopulated area out there, but if you are in that market in western Montana, be on the lookout for some hailstorms, not only Wednesday, but again on Thursday as the threat moves east uh, into North Dakota. This may drop as far south as, as Rapid City, although that doesn't look likely at this point. And watch how the risk pans out here for the rest of the week. This whole area, the shifting area of focus, is going to move towards the Midwest in the Siouxland does look like a pretty big severe weather day on Friday and then maybe Saturday even better. The risk kind of drops south and east. This does include lots of populated areas, maybe as far south as St. Louis, but definitely Chicago in the Twin Cities on Saturday. Uh, so busy Friday, busy Saturday, and perhaps a busy Sunday. Uh, basically a cold front stalls right in the uh, sort of just north of the I-80 corridor. And I think as this cold front begins to push south, you're gonna get lots of thunderstorms to form they should be hail producers up to perhaps golf ball size, uh, given the environment that's in place uh, as we move into the, the really the edge at the end of the weekend. So pay attention there if you're in the Midwest, Siouxland uh, on Saturday, Sunday, and uh, this, this threat may even continue into next Monday. But we'll have another video for you there uh, on Monday to identify that threat as well. So overall, kind of a slow start to the week, but I think as we move into the weekend, it'll be fairly active. I'm going to keep an average score here going of five. This doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary for July standards. And uh, if you're really anywhere in the central or eastern United States, you're probably enjoying sunrises and sunsets. They've been very beautiful because of all the smoke uh, of the wildfires burning out in the west. You'll see all that haze in the sky and the sunrises and sunsets will appear a very reddish color. And uh, that is due to what we call me scattering. So you can uh, impress your friends by saying, yep, that red sunrise or sunset is due to me scattering from the, all the wildfire activity out west, which is sort of a sad story, but it does produce some pretty magnificent sunrises and sunsets uh, here, not only in the Midwest, but also across the eastern United States. So uh, there's our Extreme Weather Insights score for the upcoming week. I hope all of you have a great week. Again, Dr. Gensini here, Monday, July 19th. Thanks for tuning into the forecast video this week, and uh, we will see you next week. Thanks for watching this week's video and I hope it helped you prepare for the week. As always, you can get tons of great content at roofingcontractor.com and please, if you have any questions, reach out to our team at predictivesalesai.com. Have a great week.